I can stand here and back him up all the time as I do. I can't stand. I cannot not say that that was wrong. No, that's wrong. Doors, please don't stick up for her in front of me because you don't know. I'm sticking up for her. What's up, guys? Welcome back to my channel. So I'm here today to talk about The Real Housewives of New Jersey, season 14, episode 14, Off the Rails. So be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and let's jump right on into it. So first and foremost, we deserved a reunion. This whole little watch party thing was not really it. But to be honest, I don't know if a reunion would have even been watchable, considering how nasty some of these women were during this little watch party thing. Namely, Jennifer Aiden. She straight up lost me. Like, she was just so nasty, so mean-spirited. Like, it was just such a turnoff. And granted, you know, the watch party was done in two separate rooms. The one group with, like, Teresa, Jennifer Aiden, Jackie, and Dolores. And by the way, I thought Dolores was going to go back and forth between the groups. She checked in with the other group once, but she was mainly with, you know, Teresa and her group. You know, it may have been like a numbers thing, like, you know, because Teresa's group was smaller than the other group, but Dolores was firmly there. Again, she checked in once with Margaret, but she was with Teresa's group. And I'm bringing the groups up because, you know, they were all saying shit about each other. It's just a given considering how it was set up. But Jennifer Aiden was just so nasty with her commentary. And I was just like, dude, like, this is just not it, basically. Um, Danielle and Teresa, they haven't spoken in a few months. Uh, Jen Fessler, she also hasn't talked to Teresa or Rachel. She's kind of like, done with everyone, essentially, it seems like. And Jen is actually the last one to roll in. And she comes in kind of fucking hot. She is just over the bullshit. And it's like, well, bitch, this is the bullshit factory. Like, this is where you deal with the bullshit. You can't run from it now. Hey, but I'm not, I'm not ready to talk about it yet. What I felt when I walked in was nothing welcoming. So let's not pretend like you opened up your arms to me. Agreed. Well, I didn't. I didn't. I turned around and I said, hi, how are you? Oh, I'm sorry. I should have kissed you. No, I and I think that Jen Fessler didn't want to, like, answer for the shit that she had done this past season. And granted, you know, she didn't have to answer for, like, the early season bullshit with Margaret. Like, she would have had to a reunion. But, you know, she's asked to, like, account for, like, oh, yeah, you know, I said I had Jennifer Aiden's back. I was wrong. Blah, blah, blah. But yeah, so she came in just, like, not ready for the bullshit. Um, I was low-key kind of like, okay, why, why is Jen Fessler coming in, like, stealing the damn show as a friend of? Like, coming in all hot and shit. But um, she did wind up swiftly squashing the beef with Danielle and Rachel. She and Rachel hugged. She and Danielle, like, um, they toasted with each other. So everything's all good in that respect. The watch party then officially begins. And of course they begin with Dolores and Margaret going at it. And everyone is just so taken aback by how angry Dolores was. They're like, I've never seen Dolores that angry, blah, blah, blah. Dolores is doubling down on like, I knew nothing about that shit. I was not invited. I was totally, I had no idea. But Margaret says, no, we remember things differently. And Margaret and Dolores are on good terms now. Like I said, Dolores like checked in with her but um, they are agreeing to disagree, essentially. And moving on, Jennifer Aiden is big mad. She sees Rachel and Danielle on her screen. She's like, oh, Rachel is so cheap. Danielle, Satan, blah, blah, blah. She's just not having it for them. And once that scene with Louis comes on, the scene where he wishes harm on Margaret's son, he says he hopes that her son suffers like his family suffered. Dolores says that that is just not okay, that Louis, like, should not have said that. And Teresa's like, I don't care. Don't stick up for her in front of me, Dolores. I'm just not having it today. And Dolores is like, I'm not sticking up for her. I'm saying that that was not okay. We don't talk about people's kids like that. It's not okay. So she doubles down. Teresa, she gives some weak ass, like, okay, Dolores, I'll make sure he, like, says something. Like, she doesn't give a fuck, though. And it shows, like, the, their character. You know what I mean? Like, again, Dolores is there being like, no, it's not okay. Jennifer Aiden and Jackie are dead silent. And it's like, you guys think that's fucking okay? You guys see no issue with what Louis just said? Like, so good on Dolores for at least, you know, having a backbone in that moment. You know what I mean? Like, it's important to see. And Teresa was pissed off at her, but she was not backing down. So good on that. Moving on to the actual sit down, we of course begin with Jennifer and Danielle going at it. And 
The ladies in room number two is like Margaret, Jen Fessler, Rachel, Danielle, and Melissa. They're all disgusted by Jennifer Aiden's behavior. Because again, Jennifer Aiden was like looking for a, for a problem from the beginning. Like Danielle sat down at the table, was like, I want to have a civil conversation with you and not let my anger take over. Jennifer Aiden, oh, I'm all for it if you're capable of it. Just like being a bitch in the beginning. And yeah, so it's not here for it. Once Danielle finally snaps, Jennifer Aiden is giddy as hell, all laughing and shit. And it's like, oh, look at me, almost getting my ass beat. <laughs> like, just being so fucking dumb and shit. She's also relishing and Danielle crying in the bathroom. Because remember, Danielle told Jennifer, oh, I know you cry at home alone at night. And now Jennifer's like, oh, look who's crying now. Look who's crying now. She's very, like, apathetic about it. She's like, she mentioned my husband first. She should have mentioned husbands, blah, blah, blah. She's relishing and Danielle, like, having this moment. She tells Dolores, oh, I would like to see you support me like that. Because Dolores is in the bathroom comforting Danielle. And it's like, Jennifer, I think I have it fucked up. Dolores feels for Danielle because, A, Danielle probably reminds Dolores of herself. You know what I mean? From back in the day. And honestly, I think Dolores also knows how it feels to want to kick your ass, Jennifer. And that's why she's comforting Danielle, because she's been there. She knows. You know what I mean? She's like, oh, I'd love to see that same support. You're not going to see it, bitch. Dolores doesn't fuck with you. Dolores doesn't fuck with you like that. You know what I mean? So it's just like, so nasty. And again, Jennifer is just relishing in Danielle's reaction. And it's like, oh my goodness. So in the spirit of that, I thought I would include a scene from last season that shows Jennifer spiraling. You're so excited about last year. My daughter wants to be a therapist. And she slept with a subordinate Margaret. and she knew that. Margaret. No. no. I dare you. She my outfit. She my outfit. And by the way, we also see how after the fight, Teresa like went out to try to talk to Danielle and Danielle was like, Teresa, now's not the time. Like she like told her, hey, cut the bullshit. Jennifer is like, oh, Teresa, she yelled at you. She just yelled at you. She's like dick riding Teresa so hard and so pathetic to see. While watching the aftermath of the fight, Jen Fester tries reasoning with Danielle being like, oh, you know, do you have any regrets? I'm sure you must regret how you handled that. You must regret like lunging over the table at her and fucking Danielle. I regret not killing her. You gotta be careful with that girl. Uh, fucking in the other room, Teresa. I don't like to be around that. Like I took my frustration out on the table, but I would never like physically harm someone. Bitch, weren't you chasing Danielle through a part like girl? Teresa is so full of shit, like, honestly. And despite what she said earlier, Danielle does admit that, you know, she should have used her words and she's never gonna let someone push her to that point again. And, you know, I like Danielle, but I will say, you know, she just has to, she has to check that, that reactionary temper and, like, use her word if she wants to be in the limelight like that. You know what I mean? That's what I'm gonna say. Uh, we didn't see Jackie get exposed. And she's fumbling over her words, saying Teresa, oh, you know, I never leaked anything. I stopped talking to her years ago. I was just trying to, like, get something in my pocket. Like, I, I, I never, like, leaked anything. Like, all this shit. And as the episode winds down, Teresa actually says that she feels vindicated and, like, she got some resolution from the sit-down. At least you feel like that. No one else feels like that. Like, okay, girl. The finale then ends and we get some little commentary of the aftermath. Jackie says that Louis' ex was approaching everyone with all this information. And she also notes that she doesn't want what she did to be conflated with what Margaret did. So according to Jackie, I was responding to what you were saying about Evan. And I just wanted something in my pocket to be able to pull out if you did some shit like that with Evan. But Jackie says that Margaret was just being malicious. She was just looking for shit, just like a looking for shit, essentially. Okay, Jackie, whatever. Danielle then says she regrets having Jennifer Aiden anywhere near her family or her home. And Jennifer says that she 100% is over Danielle, unless she comes to her with full-blown remorse. Not gonna happen. Regarding Margaret, Teresa also says that Unless Margaret comes crawling on her knees, begging her forgiveness, she's done with her. 
never gonna happen. Rachel says that she regrets not airing out more of Louis shit. Melissa says that she feels relieved to have everything finally over now. And at the very end, Rachel reveals that she's pregnant. And that's it for season 14 or for The Real Houses of New Jersey as we know it, you know. And yeah, this was just, I don't know, it was just a little something to end the season off with. It wasn't great, you know, whatever. But yeah, let me know what you think down in the comment section. Make sure to like and subscribe. And of course, stay tuned for more. Thank you for watching. Bye.